Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amelia. I have not talked about this a lot, but I am an artist and I thought it would be pretty neat to share some of my art stuff with you. So this is a sketchbook I got about a year and a half ago. As you can see, like the spine is falling apart and the pages are crinkled and everything. But that's fine because we love it. It's the best sketchbook I've ever had. I cannot wait to get another one the next time I get a chance. But this took me a year and a half to finish. I usually because I've been doing a lot of drawing digitally, but also because I've been using a whole buttload of other sketchbooks as well. Uh, I'm just going to wait for the sun to pop behind a cloud. So while we're doing that, let's talk about some background. Uh, when I got this sketchbook, um, I wasn't that good at art. By which I mean, I was okay at art, I was passable, but I wouldn't call myself particularly skilled. I don't think I had quite a defined style yet. Um, throughout the sketchbook, you will see me experimenting with my style, doing all sorts of different things, just to make it just as nice as possible, just to get everything working and just looking brilliant. So let's get on and see what's in here. So you can't see these super great because of the sunlight, really sorry about that, but these are some costume design sketches that I did. That's an Inktober drawing of a little girl on a leaf. Um, try to think of the process behind these. I uh, don't have much, coming up a bit blank. Um, these are Tolkien sketches. These were done a very long time before these were done because these were when I went back through my sketchbook looking for blank spaces because I like filling things to the best of my ability. Um, so these Tolkien ladies, uh, that is Muriel. You might not recognise the names, that's because they're from the Silmarillion. That's Muriel, Indus, Findus, uh, Lalwen there. I think so. I think that's Lalwen, yeah. That is Anire, Nerdanel. Wait, is that Earth? No. That's Anire. That's, yeah, Anire. That's A-R-O-N. Getting mixed up. Anyway, um, and that's Aradel and that's Galadriel. Lovely. Um, these are some more Aradel sketches because I think she's really cool. Um, and I wanted to do some little cute outfit designs. I think these are really cute still. Um, Muriel. Not much there. Some of the lads. Don't really care as much about the lads though. Um, some Nerdanel, lots and lots of Nerdanel actually, now that I'm looking back. I drew for her a lot back at the start. Here's where we get interesting. Okay, so this is one of my OCs. Um, originally Sian spelt with a C, but then I realized that would probably be read as Kian. So now it's Sean with, or Sean, um, S-I-A-N, which people who don't know how Sean is pronounced would pronounce it Sian. So, perfect. Um, these are more OCs from the same thing. Sean, Vika, Aaron, Zimri, lots of Zimri's, um, and then there's Zen. Uh, they're all very important in a story idea, which I have abandoned for now. These are some more Silmarillion sketches, just kind of messy. Don't know how to draw dogs, as you can see. That's fine though. Don't beat myself up over that. <laughs> um, here we have some things that I drew while I was in Star Trek, so I was like, I have to draw a space woman. She's a space elf, I think. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember the story behind her, I think. I just gave her pointy ears because I forgot that normal people don't have pointy ears because I drew elves so much. So that's interesting and fun. Some more little sketches from that period of my life. Here's where I was like thinking, uh, I rewatched The Hobbit, so I was thinking about like, oh, Legolas and his family, and I came up with some characters for that. That's uh, Maglor and Micros. Um, Maglor again. Don't know who that is. Um, that is the most beautiful thing I've ever drawn, so take note of that. Here we have some more Tolkien, that's some Erda, etc. <laughs> Um, these OCs are from another story which I is a bit less on hold than the other one. Um, so that one is Logan, Sage, Rose, Lysandra, and yeah, they're all great and amazing. Um, these are not important apart from these two who are like Sage and Rose again. Um, that's a dumb meme. <laughs> Ignore that. <laughs> I get caught up in the meme stream 
when memes happen. These are some more pictures for that story. I left them alone on these pages, I don't know why. This is a really cute sketch that I still love. These are really bad sketches that I now hate. All you need to know. Some more adaptions on thinking about Legolas' family. Uh, this woman uh, is called something or other. I don't remember. I care more about her twin sister who's a lesbian, <laughs> so that's fun. Um, this is Sage, again. If you can tell that I love him. He's such a good boy. He is the best boy. Um, here, I don't know why that's there. These are just thumbnailing sketches, things like that. Practicing out different scenes, drawing different things like that, because I really like like illustration, illustrative, illustrative things. Originally I was going to study illustration, so these are all scenes from all the stories that I wrote. Uh, as are all these. These are some Fanorians, I think. I don't remember entirely, so that's great. Uh, this is like one of my favorite sketches of all time, and that is Anael and Tour. Uh, Tour is a character from the Fall of Gondolin, and he's a human who marries an elf, and it's really sweet and cute, and it's adorable, and he's raised by elves, and it's like, yeah, he has like a surrogate father figure, and I love found family so much, they just had to, like, just had to draw that. Like, it's so sweet to me, the idea that because he sails west with his wife, he gets to see his father again, which I just think is adorable, and I love it. Um, it's more just random sketches. More random sketches, more random sketches. Well, you know, I do a lot of random sketching. Um, these are requests that I did on Tumblr. They aren't very good, but that's because they're from like February last year. I think that's the most beautiful face I've ever drawn. I'm just gonna. Oop. Look. Ah, okay. There you go. Shit just there. Oh no. <laughs> that is the most beautiful face I've ever drawn. Okay, back back to the programming. Um, more random sketches, more random sketches, more random sketches. Um, Andres and Agnor, because yeah, who doesn't love them? Uh, here we have some of the cute sketches. This is from like an Alice Isn't Dead alternate universe thing and that's like an Alice Isn't Dead quote that I really love um, because that's kind of been my mentality a lot of the time. I just like, I just wish to draw cute kids and things like that. I'm trying to see if I can get down the exposure a little. No, that's not helping. Okay, I'll just leave this in auto. Sorry about the lighting, this was not intentional. This is the same lady from earlier. Ugh. Come on, there we go. Now you can see. <laughs> uh, some more cute stuff. That's Ned now. Some experimentations there. Some OCs that I abandoned because I do that all the time. And um, some more OCs. This is Beor, who is a human. Okay, play with me here, okay? <laughs> this is a human tribesman from the Silmarillion, whom I love. Hopefully you can see that, because that's one of my favorite sketches in here. Some more just general sketches. That's an OC, her name is Kanaithor, and I'm really gay for her. So that's great. I think that's Maglor as well. Like halfway through the year, I got into this idea of like, oh my God, he has to have puffy hair. And then I never looked back. So that's great. <laughs> um, here's some more OC sketches. Arthurian legend! I went through a period um, in I think June, July last year where I was just obsessed with Arthurian mythology and I did a bunch of sketches based around it and I also came up with some like kind of Arthurian-y OCs, Farron and N, who now exist in Medial and you will see them at some point and it'll be great. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> um, there's some more here. We got... So I'm, this was me redrawing the first illustrations I did, but like the new designs and stuff, that's Muriel, Indus. Indus and Lawan, I think, where I gave them both dark hair. Yeah, I did end up giving them both dark hair, didn't I? Bit fun, bit funky. Okay, um, here's some more sketches for an AU. This is one of the cutest drawings I've ever done, so that's great. <laughs> 
Um, this is Idril, who is one of my favorite elf women ever. She is such a badass. She deserves so much more recognition for all the shit that she has to get through. And every time someone says that Galadriel deserved to be the queen instead of Gilgalad, I die a little inside because Idril was actually next in line and she deserves it way more than Galadriel. She is such a queen. I just love her. Um, these are some more kind of bad Fanorin sketches. Ugh, that's Can I Feel Again. Magalore. These kids? I don't remember who that is. Huh. That's Sean. Um, that's... I think it's meant to be Karan there, but I don't know. That's meant to be Aradel. Um, trying to remember who everyone is is very hard. That's Elrond and Elros, who, uh, if you don't know, Elros is Elrond's brother. He is a human and he dies. So that's sad and fun and explains a lot about the why he is the way he is. Um, these are more OCs, uh, same ones as before, obviously. Zen, Sean, her name's Nadia. His name's Zimri. I really love Zimri. I'm really happy with Zimri. It's just my favorite from this entire thing. Some more Tolkien sketches. I bought some watercolors while I was away at the place where I did all these sketches, so I was like playing with them. I'm really happy with that drawing. I think that's really cute. Um, yeah. This is a very recent sketch of Gilgalad for a friend. This is a very old sketch of Crowley, also for a friend. And this one is, as you can see, very bad to me. Um, these are some more OCs, uh, Sina and Rowan. And I love them, and you're gonna see them uh, in the Scepter of the Silver Sun, because they feature there. So, yeah. That's bad, don't look at that. Um, that is actually pretty bad for how recently I did it. Like, that was October? Like, fuck. This is, like, yesterday. <laughs> As I can tell you, I did jump around. This is a friend's OC who I love. This is one of my OCs. It's Rose. Rose and Jamila. Jamila. Dumb thumbnail sketch. <laughs> Some other things. Okay, so I was planning on writing a story about what happens if the Julio Claudian dynasty survives until the modern era and then I came up with a bunch of characters and gave them all Roman names and everything so this is Vestilia uh, she is the empress at one point she's married to Artius who's married to Flavia and so on and so forth um, these are when I was trying to do like a daily page of sketches and then just stopped as you can see good omen stuff these are some more abandoned OCs. Her name is Elizabeth. Her name is Rachel. Rachel? No, that wasn't. No, don't even remember what name I gave him. So that's great. More good omens. I don't like a lot of these. I found it really hard to draw stuff from good omens. Genuinely don't remember any of those. There's some Tolkien. I think this art style is really cute. I'm probably gonna experiment more with it at some point. I don't know, that's some more good omen stuff. You'll know what I'm into. So these are OCs. Okay, actually, I'm gonna grab something because this OC is actually really interesting. This is Oris. Okay, remember, the god of the sun in Medjol. This is a new illustration of Oris. Um, I don't know if you can see that. There you go. That's a new illustration of Oris. So you can just compare those two. Uh, I've changed him up quite a lot since I did that first sketch. He looks very different. Uh, some more... This is the lesbian sister that I was talking about earlier, who I'm in love with, and her name is Feriel, and she is the best in every way, shape, and form. Uh, <laughs> this is Muriel, that's Luthien. As we move on, I think that's Sauron. That guy looks like he's wearing a, a witch hat. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's not what it's meant to be, but... Yeah. Don't know who that is. I think these were just random sketches for the sake of loosening up. Here's where we get into some cool and interesting bits. That's more Sauron. Uh, actually, that's Tarmyron, which is a version of Sauron when he kind of sort of seduced the king of Numenor and convinced him that human sacrifices were a good idea. So that's fun. Um, here we have my OC, Hazel, and her child, Laurel, and her other child, Ash. 
and she's very important because she's a dryad um, and she's in a webcomic that I'm working on currently uh, which is not going to be up for a first page for like months because I have A levels but you know um, this is like the premise of the story like I was trying to sketch out the way I do the composition of the first page um, so these are her parents a fairy and a dryad the idea is that she's powerful fairies and dryads aren't actually meant to get together so when they do it's a little bit reality breaking and not great um, and so here we have the final page of sketches in the sketchbook um, so down here I'm gonna see if I can just get okay there we go there's, um, again, that is Hazel, and I think that's Laurel. Um, there's some more Hazel. That's not Hazel. That's Hazel. That is her wife, Alex. Um, that's Alex. That's Alex. I was trying to get Alex's design down a lot. And here is where I did a bunch of swatches at the back. And that is it for my sketchbook. That took me, like, two fucking years to fill. Um, this was kind of a random video. I hope you all enjoyed that. I uh, got some sneak peeks of what my OCs look like and stuff like that. I feel uniquely gifted as a writer to just be able to like sketch them out all myself, which I think makes me like because I can put illustrations in my books that I did, so it's the exact way that I picture them, and it's just yeah. I'm really grateful that I have that ability. So yeah. Um, thank you all for watching. I will see you all next time. If you like this kind of video, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, and the next time I finish a sketchbook, I will give you a sketchbook tour. Okay, see you all next time. Bye!